missing over the last three or four days. Maybe I, maybe it crossed my mind earlier. I don't know, but starting to pay attention to the fact that there are a lot of middle-aged white men walking around town, looking like they have nowhere in particular to go, carrying a bunch of their belongings in a backpack or a messenger bag. And I see them stopping to get a hot dog and eating it slowly as they walk walk on from the hot dog stand. Or I see them getting off at the last stop on a subway train with their body language telling me that they don't really have anywhere in particular to go or no particular reason to be there. I see one right now walking past his phone as I'm saying this. He has a bag that looks a lot like mine. But in seeing these people, it's not lost on me that I'm one of them. And maybe New York is filled with men who just wander around with nothing to do but burn off the anxiety or nothing to do but burn off the angst or the, the ennui of life. Most of us, and I'm going to start calling us us from now on until I think of an actual name. Flanure is too obvious a name, and I don't like the sound of the word. But most of us carry backpacks. I don't, I, I don't favor the backpack because I like to have easy access to what's in my bag. So I carry a side bag. I also carry it because my ex-girlfriend gave it to me. And I continue to carry it as a token of respect to her so that if she ever sees me in some in passing she'll recognize the bag and re recognize the fact that I didn't purge my belongings of everything that she ever gave me so now I start to wonder what's in all these men's bags I carry my anxiety pills, or as I call them, my panic pills. I carry a roll of toilet paper, even though people make fun of me for it, but it has come through in some really memorable circumstances. I carry some computer-type gear, power cable chargers, uh, charger cables, a full-size keyboard that I sometimes use when I need to send an email. I have trouble sending email from my cell phone, but that's deliberate, and I keep it that way. I like to introduce a little recalcitrance into anything I do with computers or technology. I don't like how they try to make things so easy. It's a lie. Nothing's easy. I carry a somewhat ludicrous quantity of Starbucks napkins. I've been made fun of for that. But as with the Charmin, the toilet paper. Those Starbuck nap napkins have come through. And I carry water. And I think I have a few dollar bills down at the bottom of the bag. And I carry a bunch of receipts, a spare battery, a small digital camera, a sandwich, assorted pieces of paper that I keep on hand in case they become relevant, or in case the information printed on them becomes relevant. Sometimes I think, though, I'm going to reach into my bag and pull out a, a hamster, or a rabbit, or a bird. I'm going to discover there's been a, a little forest growing in my bag. It goes deeper than the bag physically would make it seem possible. But there's an ant farm down there. And there's dolphins swimming around, and there's grassy fields. And I'll find that this phenomenon extends up into my body, and that the bag is actually connected to my body. And that I've got string beans growing from my armpits, and broccoli coming out of my ears. And that I've been carrying this bag so long, and stayed connected to it in such... ways, but it's not only 
only become a part of my body, but it's become a part of the, the earth, a part of the ecosystem. And inevitably, they build highways and skyscrapers and high rises inside my bag. And I inhabit all of them because they are all me. And sometimes a high rise gets chopped down and I feel the pain. Or sometimes a tree falls and it comes out of my mouth. And sometimes somewhere somebody loses a job and I feel money evaporate. I feel dignity disappear. All this stuff going on in my ecosystem. So I try to I try to eat my way through it. I eat my way through the grassy fields. And I eat so much for so many hours, so many days, that I reach a point where I'm eating and shitting simultaneously. Which was an adolescent fantasy of mine. And I have to flush all this shit. But since I'm entirely self-contained, I'm flushing my shit back into my ecosystem and eating that. And the next thing you know, I'm drowning in a sea of shit. <laughs> <laughs>